Coming up in today's video, I've got another absolute belter of a pear cocktail uh, using ODK's pear puree. This is uh, the kind of a pear julep, a pear and honey julep with a little hint of cinnamon in there. And oh my God, it is absolutely delicious. Really, really simple. I've only used four ingredients. You could get away with using three. Uh, but just have a little look. As I said in the previous video, I'm going to be rocking out a few um, kind of, uh, maybe a different flavor every week. We'll see how we go. Well, definitely two videos uh, dedicated to uh, a flavor, whether it's ODK, whether it's Monin, whether it's William Fox, something like that. Let's get the content rocking out here. Uh, but to give you even more inspiration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a few extra recipes, but they will live on our content feed, uh, on, so our community tab on our YouTube channel. So if you go to our YouTube channel, uh, check out the uh, community feed there. I'm always, once a week, I'm always going to pop up other different kind of recipes in there. Maybe a carousel picture post, um, just so to give you more inspiration. Because even two recipes a week isn't enough if you're going to buy one of these. Um, these pe these purees are long life, shelf stable, kind of fruity mixes, syrups, whatever you want to call them. They are more heavier fruit based than your kind of average sort of syrup. That's why we. I kind of refer them to as purees, but fruity mixes, essentially. But absolutely gorgeous. As I say, long life, shelf stable, once opened, amazing. So this is the pear and uh, so this a pear and honey julep. As I always say, if you make any of our recipes, upload them, take a photo of them, upload them to Instagram, tag us at Drink Stuff in the actual photo. That'll live on our kind of uh, our tagged feed on Instagram and then we'll share some of the best ones to our stories. So the ingredients for this cocktail are even simpler than the last one, the mojito, the orange mojito I made. Very, very similar, but obviously no citrus. And we're swapping the Quattro out this time for whiskey. So the whiskey I've gone for, I featured it in a live show before Christmas. Uh, Jack Daniels honey, honey whiskey, Jim Beam, anything like that. You could use a normal whiskey and some honey syrup maybe, or a honey liqueur, Cascabel honey liqueur, anything like that. I think honey and pear is gorgeous. I love honey and pear. Like honey drizzled over pears is, is such a good thing. I love it. So uh, Jack Daniels honey, that's my whiskey base for this. Obviously the ODK pear puree. Um, got some mint. That is the core uh, kind of base of the uh, of the cocktail. It's kind of all the julep is, those kind of three things essentially. But as I said, I'm going to start bringing a few different things in from home just to kind of give you even more inspiration. So the other thing that really goes well for me, bitters, obviously I'd normally use bitters in a julep cocktail. Um, but the other thing uh, kind of I want to show you is other flavours of bitters. So you can kind of see the Angostura bitters up there. Well, these, I've got loads of different bitters at home. These ones are cinnamon bitters. And I think cinnamon with honey and pear is just going to be a match made in heaven. Just elevate different flavours even more. So it's not crucial to the recipe. I'm just purely here for inspiration, just to kind of show you different fun things that you can do to add to your cocktail. So again, we're not going to shake this cocktail. It's just going to get made straight in a julep cup. Uh, I've got another one up there as well that you can kind of use. I have got a julep glass at home, but the whole point of julep cups, you get that nice sort of frosting around them because they are a crushed ice cocktail. So uh, first things first, let's go for the pear so I can uh, rinse the jigger out. So I'm going to do what I did in for the mojito. I'm going to go 20 mil. 20 mils a good kind of, you just play about. 15 mil sometimes, 25 mil sometimes. Just play about to find your own sort of personal kind of um, levels if you like but I go 20 mil for this this is really really good vibrant quite sweet as well so you don't need to add any sugar you could do if you wanted to just taste it but I don't think you will 20 mil of pear uh, puree should do the job uh, and then we're going for a 50 mil double bubble of uh, Jack Daniels honey your favorite kind of whiskey could even go rum why not let's go rum but honey that's kind of the vibe I'm going for I'm just going to just rinse the end of the jig around. So 25 and 50, double bubble of your honey whiskey. And then we've got the mint. I've kind of stripped it already, but I've got about, it's a bit more there, but about, about 10, eight to 10 decent sized mint leaves. So I've got a few fiddly little ones in here. So there's about 12 here to be fair. Uh, palm your hand, give them a spank. You know, we don't muddle mint. We don't want to kind of get the bitterness. We just want those nice, delicate, fresh, floral aromas and then just to bring you back to the bitters again these are pipette based so just about a little bit more oh we can never get these these are weird there we go it's about a third of a pipette that's my personal kind of level that's what i like 
play about. Use whatever you fancy. So just squeeze that in there. So we've got nice kind of cinnamon notes going with the pear, going with the honey. Proper, proper lovely. Right, a bit of crushed ice. Just a little bit, just to start us off with. Take our long bar spoon, get rid of that. I'm just gonna give it a churn, combine all those ingredients, and then after a few minutes, uh, you'll kind of see the glass that, or the, the julep cup sort of frosting up a bit. So just kind of combine all those ingredients together, make sure it's all blended in. And then when you're happy with that, oh, that's so good. That is so good. Just top that up with a pour the cinnamon. The cinnamon, the cinnamon and the honey really goes well with that. Just top that with a bit more crushed ice. I've got a nice bush of mint there. And then what I've actually done, uh, I've just gone a bit fun, a bit fancy, because I love a pear anyway. I've kind of got like a little pear fan going on there as well. So there we have like a honey and pear julep. Absolutely gorgeous.